VIP table. What's the high roller table? She is. Everybody's so hot tonight. That's right. Oh my God. What a night this is going to be. It's Howard night. I have two other singers who are coming to listen to you. Yay. Oh, great. I feel better if you brought like two golfers or something. Hi, Rosie. Um, a, a glass of water would be appreciated very much. Thank you. Oh, no, I think we got it covered. Great. Thank you, Ty. I feel better if you brought like two golfers or something. Hi, Rosie. Okay, sound check has worked. Um, a, a glass of water. I can hear me. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Testing this mic. Testing this. Testing this mic. I really don't have a, a date. Um, I mean, we're here till till January, yeah. and then then we're nowhere. What's going on in your place? Well, so that would become an option if if I, you know, it's a goal to get get everything done and and, and running. No, that's why it's such a challenge. Oh. Here we go. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, well, you know, well, 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 yeah, well, I appreciate that very much. Um, no, well, you know, it's wonderful having options. Yeah. I kind of like blowing in the wind. <laughs> Is that a song request? <laughs> the things downtown are so dynamic. Well, like here, you know. Um, of course. It would be like Rosie not showing up. I know, I just realized it isn't a lot. No, we've always, we've always got our place as the fall back, you know, and some, sometimes it's the... It is, but, and uh, next time we're there, I want I want the public to be able to come if, if they want to, you know, so, so like we don't have to like lock the doors and stuff, oh, yeah. tell people to leave. Not that I expect anybody to show up anyway, but that's the kind of vibe I'd like to have. vibe and theme. Yeah. I'll probably wish I, you know, kept it that way. Just when you started complicating things with 
actually trying to, you know, like. Yeah, that's that's great. Well, I like it too. Um, okay. Jackets. Yeah, that's another thing I want to do when we open it. When we reopen it, I want to have like a kind of figure out a good way to do it. You know, one idea that was suggested to me is, um, and a lot of these concepts came about. Um, during the COVID experimentation out there, and everybody was trying to figure out how to how to keep keep the trains running, you know. And uh, a place opened up. I forget the name of it. It was a new place opened up, and I read about it. And it was by reservation. Hey, Howard. Watching Lounge Academy, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about reality. Reality piano bar. We're just kind of ignoring you, but you're the fourth wall. Ty will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. to hear them. Okay, who do we have out here? Tonight we've got uh, our own Dave Corbett. Maybe he's on his way down here. Who knows? And our own Janet Drought. Couldn't make it to the Lounge Academy. Family reunion stands between us. I understand. 
her family. Yeah, Mary Kate McConnell said, well, we're not your family, we're not good enough. She's joking, though. She, she understands completely. She's a professional. because I can. Wow, that's awesome. Hi, Maxine. It says you're watching. I sent you a wave. Wonderful. Always wonderful to see you in the lounge. And Tom Marino. I'd like to say a shout out to Tom Marino in case he's watching tonight. His brother Gary is here. He's upstairs over there. You'll see him coming down the red carpeted stairs of the lobby bar as he enters the Lounge Academy area. And he will be carrying a drink. And he's escorted by Pooh's man, Richie. There's one for Kathy Moses. If I play it, maybe, maybe by a miracle, she'll just have to walk in.
She's not as wild as she was last week. She made an entrance last year.
certainly forgot all about COVID, you know? Used to be like you wouldn't be in the same room 
Now we're sticking our fingers in our food, loving everything, because we, mi we miss it. We miss that, that human thing. Oh, there's like um, Frank's hot sauce built into this cap capicola. Yeah, it's great. Are you kidding me? I haven't eaten it in a week. I'm doing a commercial for the uh, Statler menu. Richie. Now, when you order off the Statler menu, you'll notice uh, it is it is not a confusingly long itemization of things. There's not there's not a lot of things on it, so which is nice because when you're hungry and you're busy with other people, you don't want a lot of paperwork. So they've made the menus. I I, I call the menus here concise. Um, now, another thing about the menus is you won't recognize anything on them as anything you've ever seen before. At least if you're me. Like, what's, what's that thing called that's the $18 mound of french fries? Oh, the beef cheek poutine. Beef cheek poutine, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Ryan, president of WBIG. Brendan and Lizzie are well acquainted with the menu here. So the, the beef bouillon pucci. What's it called again, Ryan? Beef cheek poutine. Beef cheek poutine. That's one of the easy ones to say. Is that just your There's, there's, there's nothing on the menu I recognize as even being pronounceable in English or any other language. But I think that's the science behind it, because you kind of enter a, a land of fantasy when, when you're in a historic place like the Statler. You're transported, you're in, you're in every time since 1923. And I, I think that's... I think that's how they even, they even create a menu. I think Mark Croce had something to do with this menu. Knowing Mark the way I did. He put a lot of thought into everything he did. And having some kind of trick menu like that would definitely be... would be uh, the way things would be done. But it is, it's the best... It's the best French fries I've ever seen in my life. And they're, last, last they were what, 18, 19 dollars? <laughs> Some more show business, show business friends are showing up here. Rosie seems acquainted with everybody here. 
heart of mine. Check 
and Home Depot. Making a big scene. We were holding up two lines at one time. What a bunch of squares over there. Home Depot. Yeah, I never realized that was... Yeah. I'm guilty, I say depot. Usually I say definitely. That's right, you say, you say Home Depot. I say Home Depot. And I say Home Depot. How do you hit the tempo? Depot and depot, depot and depot, depot. I can't even say it the normal way if I try. How about this? You say Home Depot, depot, depot. You say Home Depot. I say Home Depot. I say three times a week. She says what's a blue. Depot, 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 depot. Screw it, let's go to Lowe's. Oh yeah. Let's all go to Lowe's. Gee, I never thought about that one either. There's a couple extra extra syllables in it. Orange. Connor, ladies and gentlemen, celebrating his 20th year of improving Buffalo. Thank you. 
That's the where. You're not going to argue with Ira Gershwin, are you? I was kissed by my sisters and my cousin and my aunties. Which rhymes with velvet panties. Sad to tell it was hell in an inferno worse than Dante. So my dear, I swore Never, never more On my list, I insist Kissing must be crossed out And old lady, how I've lost out.
You're, you're going there to work and then you're coming back? But you gotta like flip a burger and then you're coming back? You're teaching? Oh, next week? I thought you meant right now. Lounge 
Academy. If you just tuned in, you, you missed the first 10 years. When you're watching it through with handicap by just having one camera, which unfortunately turned in my direction. But when you watch the rerun, you're going to see a whole bunch of cameras. And you'll see all the action that was going on here. We've got three VIP tables brimming here at the Stafford, downtown Buffalo. That's 107 Delaware Avenue, 14202. Right at Niagara Square, where everything hits the fan, right there at Niagara Square. Very 
very personal to me. Thank you. 
fast asleep You lie awake And think about the girl And never ever think of Counting sheep When the lonely heart has learned its lesson
walk your dreams at night It could happen to you Because you'll stumble Someone drops aside And down you tumble Keep your eye on spring Or when church bells ring It could happen All I did was wonder how your arms would be And it happened to me Yesterday we 
to that.
It's time to change some batteries, Nick. Kind of fun to stand up, Nick. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. Shout out to Barbara Fisher. I think I'm gonna wave it. Says I can wave at Barbara Fisher. I'm gonna do that. I'll wave at Betty too. a nice one Nick. I don't recognize the verse. Somebody loves me. Nick wonders who. I wonder who she can be.
Stairway to the Stars by Mitchell Parrish and Frank Signorelli. And Matt Melnick had something to do with it. I like it when there's like a whole like roofing crew.
so supportive tonight. Let's defrost. 
Is that one that's in? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I, I've heard that. This was part of my medley of songs in five point type. It's like microfiche. Yeah. Microfiche. Yeah. We will now do a medley of a hundred Frank Sinatra tunes. Thank you. 
that once in a lifetime.
Good night, everybody, from uh, but, uh, uh, Niagara Square, downtown Buffalo. My name's Howard, and this has been Lounge Academy, along with my sidekick, Ty. We're happy to bring you an evening of entertainment. 
and we'll be looking forward to uh, next Friday. If you're um, really anxious to, to tip me and, and that's, you're just overwhelmed with that desire, um, I won't stand in your, in your way. In fact, I'll make it as easy as possible. You can go to www.tiphoward.com. That's a convenient URL, isn't it, Ty? TipHoward.com. How much easier could it be? Yeah. And uh, I thank you, but, but no, no obligation. We're just happy to have you part of the party. And uh, we'll look forward to the next time we do this. Good night, everybody. I know. He told me. I will. Let's talk about it. You're right. I was saying that. I'm heading up to Casa. All right, get my after party going. I'm on it. Oh, no, yeah. I feel like Frank. Huh? I feel like I'm in the rat pack. Right. I can bring some here. I want to be, um, what's his name? Um, 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 um Peter, uh, Peter Lawford. Yeah, perhaps I'll see you around. Yeah. You can go here. We're going to Marino. I'm a free spirit, but. Great. Don't make any plans. Yeah, we'll I would love to. Brenda's going to come. Yeah, Brenda, that's just my line. And Lizzie. Yeah. Lizzie. What happened to Paul? He, he got a phone call. And he had to leave. Oh, got phone call. It means his daughter needed to take out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. Okay, we'll see you. See you in a little while. Oh, sure, now everybody tunes in when we're ending. Even Paul Cambria. Everybody's... Here's some hearts, everybody. We had a great night. What a group. I know, it was nice. Now, you home viewers don't know. You didn't see yet, but when you watch my compilation video that I'll put together over the weekend using all these accessory cameras that you didn't see tonight, you're going to see the action. In fact, we're going to bring you more action from the after party. And we'll edit that in. Yeah. Just so you can see what, what it's like to be me. We're going to take you to the after party. How do you turn this thing off? <laughs> How do you turn this thing off? Thanks, everybody. We are now ending this portion, and then the, the, the uh, show is going to pick up from the after party, and that'll be, uh, it won't be live streamed, but it'll be uh, in the final edited show. Good night. <laughs>